Latina Arabic, Lesson 4. In this lesson, we will learn the use of prepositions. Arabic nouns have endings to show their functions in the sentence. The normal ending of a noun is U, as in El Beitu Jadidun, the house is new. A noun with a normal ending is said to be in the nominative case. In Arabic, it is called Marfu'a. After a preposition, this ending changes to E, as in El Beitu changes to Filbeiti, Filbeiti, in the house, or Beitun, a house, changes to Fi Beitin, in a house. El Maktabu, the table, changes to Ala El Maktabi, on the table. A noun preceded by a preposition is said to be in the genitive case. Madrur. In this lesson, we also learn the two pronouns, hua, he or it, and hia, she or it. In the Arabic language, all nouns are either masculine or feminine. A masculine noun is referred to by the pronoun hua, whether it denotes a human being, an animal, or a thing. Aina al walad Hua fil masjid. Listen and repeat after me. Al baytu. Fil bayti. Al masjidu. Fil masjidi. Al Maktabu Ala Al Maktabi As Sariru Ala As Sariri Part B Aina Muhammadun Hua Fil Gorfati Wa Aina Yasarun Hua Fil Hamami Wa Aina Amanatu Hiya fil matbakhi. Aina al kitabu. Hua ala al maktabi. Aina al saatu. Hiya ala al sariri. And one more point of grammar in chapter 4. Masculine names take me nation. Feminine names only take one vowel marker. For example, Mohammedun, Khalidun, Hamidun, Yasirun, Amarun, Saidun, Aliun, Abbasun. All of these are masculine names that take the nation at the end. The following are feminine names, and you'll notice that they don't. Aminatu, Zainabu, Fatimatu, Mariam, Aishatu, Khadijatu, Safiyatu, Rukayatu. Made with Doodlecast Pro. Okay, now we're going to go on to Medina Arabic, Chapter 4, Worksheets, Part A. Filbeti. In this exercise, we're going to see the difference between words that are in the nominative case, the take dhamma, and words that are in the genitive case, after a preposition, that take kesra. Let's look at the examples. Follow along. El beitu. El beitu takes dhamma at the end, and it's in the, the nominative case. If we put a preposition in front of el beit, like fi, as we have in the next example, it becomes genitive and it takes kesra. So we have filbeti. El mesjidu in the nominative case, it takes dhamma. Filmesjidi, 
filmesgidi after the preposition fi goes into the genitive case and takes kesra. Edukanu. Fildukani. Esamau. Filsamai. El Fuslu. Filfusli. El Gorfatu. Filgorfati. El Mutbahu. Fil Mutbahi. So everything on this side of the screen is in the nominative case. It always has Dhamma. Everything on this side of the screen, following the preposition fi, is in the genitive case and takes kesra. Page three of the worksheets. Ala el maktabi. Ala is also a preposition, just like fi. And we're going to do the same thing here. Listen as I read the examples with you. El maktabu. Ala el maktabi. El kursiu. Ala el kursi. Esiriru. Ala esiriri. El kitabu. Ala el kitabi. Adufteru. Ala adufteri. Arasu. Ala arasi. Again, everything on this side of the screen is in the nominative case. And any time we have anything in the nominative case, it takes Dhamma at the end. Everything on the other side of the screen, after the preposition ala, is in the genitive case. It takes the preposition kesra. Let's make sure you know what all of these words mean. El maktab means the desk or the office. Ala el maktab, on the desk. El kursi, the chair. Ala el kursi, on the chair. As siriru, the bed. Ala as siriri, on the bed. El kitabu, the book. Ala el kitabi, on the book. Adufteru, the notebook. Ala adufteri, on the notebook. Arasu, the head. Ala arasi, on the head. Worksheet number four. Aina el kalamu. El kalamu fil yedi. Aina el kalamu. Where is the pen? El kalamu fil yedi. The pen is in the hand. You'll notice that el kalam is in the nominative case and el yed following the preposition fi is in the genitive case, so it takes kesra. Aina el kitabu. Where is the book? El kitab is in the nominative case. It takes dhamma. El kitabu fil hakibati. The book is in the book bag. Fi is a preposition, so anything following the preposition takes kesra. Aina adufteru. Where is the notebook? Adufteru ala el maktabi. The notebook is on the desk. Ala, again, is a preposition, so anything following ala is in the genitive case and takes kesra. Aina el mindilu. Where is the scarf or where is the handkerchief? El mindilu ala el kursi. El mendil is in the nominative case. Ala is a preposition. And el kursi goes into the genitive case. El kursi. Aina el miftahu. 
Where is the key? El miftahu ala el kamisi. El miftahu, the key is on the shirt. El miftahu ala el kamisi. El kamis is after ala, so it's in the genitive case. Aina el waraku, where is the paper? El waraku fil hakibati. The paper is in the bag. El waraku is in the nominative case. Fi is a preposition. El hakibati is in the genitive case because it's following fi. Aina el kamisu, where is the shirt? El kamisu ala asiriri, the shirt is on the bed. Ala again is a preposition. Anything following a preposition is in the genitive case. So asiriru, in the nominative case, becomes asiriri when it follows ala. Now let's go through this exercise. Let's look at the example. It says, El Hakibatu. Then it gives us the word fi and El Faslu. They want us to put it together in a proper sentence with the proper vowel markers. So we have to change it a bit because fi is a preposition. Anything following fi is in the genitive case. So we have El Hakibatu. Fi el fusli. It takes kesra. Let's go through the next ones. El kitabu fi es sayaratu. We need to change it to el kitabu fi es sayarati. So it takes kesra. El kitabu fi es sayarati. Next example, el maktabu, fi el gorfatu. We change it to make it a proper sentence by saying, el maktabu, fi el gorfati. It takes kesra at the end instead of dhamma. El maktabu, fi el gorfati. El maftahu, fi el yedu. We change it to El Miftahu Fi El Yedi. El Miftahu Fi El Yedi. El Sabunu Fi El Hamamu. We change it to El Sabunu, which remains in the nominative case, Fi, the preposition, and El Hamami. El Hamami. So it takes Kesra. El Hubzu. Fi. El Matbahu. We're going to change it to El Hubzu, which again remains in the nominative case. We add the preposition Fi, and then El Matbah changes to the genitive case. So it takes Kesra. Fi. El Matbahi. El Shamsu fi el Sama'u. It changes to El Shamsu fi el Sama'i. El Shamsu fi el Sama'i. Now let's go through each example and talk about what it means. The first one, the example, El Hakibatu fi el Fasli means the book bag is in the class. El Kitabu fi Sayarati means the book is in the car. El Maktabu fi Ghurfati means the desk is in the room. El Miftahu fi Yadi means the key is in the hand. As sabunu fil hamami means the soap is in the bathroom. El khubzu 
fil matbakhi means the bread is in the kitchen. Al shamsu fi samai means the sun is in the sky. Page six of the worksheets. Ala al maktabi. Al kalamu ala al maktabu. We change it to al kalamu ala al maktabi. Ala, as we mentioned previously, is a preposition. It means on. On. Ala. So al kalamu ala al maktabi means the pen is on the desk. Next one, as saatu ala as sariri. As saatu ala as sariri. The watch is on the bed. We change the voweling on as sarir from as sariru to as sariri with kesra. Al miftahu ala al kitabi. Al miftahu ala al kitabi. The key is on the book. The key is on the book. Al miftahu ala al kitabi. Al miftah is in the nominative case. Ala is a preposition. And al kitab is in the genitive case because it's following the preposition. Al mindilu ala al rasi. Al mindilu ala al rasi. The scarf is on the head. Al mindilu ala al rasi with kesra. Next, al hakiba tu ala al kursi. Al hakiba tu ala al kursi. The book bag is on the chair. Al waraku ala a duftery. Al waraku ala a duftery. The paper is on the notebook. A duftery ala al maktabi. A duftery ala al maktabi. The notebook is on the desk. Page seven of the worksheets. A saatu ala a duftery. We need to complete the following sentences using either ala or fi. Aina a saatu. A saatu ala a sariri. A saatu ala a sariri. The watch is on the bed. Aina el kalamu. Aina el kalamu. El kalamu ala el maktabi. The pen is on the desk. Aina el kamisu. Aina el kamisu. I'll let you do the next several. On your own. Remember that the noun, for instance, here el kamisu is in the nominative case. Anything following the prepositions will be in the genitive case and take kesra. Complete the page on your own. Worksheet number eight. Mada ala el maktabi. What is on the desk? Mada ala al maktabi, al kitabu ala al maktabi. The book is on the desk. Mada ala al sariri, al kamisu ala al sariri. The shirt is on the bed. Mada ala al kitabi. What is on the book? Al waraku ala al kitabi. The paper is on the book. Mada fil yadi. What is in the hand? El kalamu fil yadi. The pen is in the hand. Mada fil gorfati. What is in the room? 
Esiriru Filgorfati. The bed is in the room. Mada Filsamau Filsamai. As Shamsu wa al Kamaru wa anejmu Filsamai. Mada Filsamai, what is in the sky? As Shams means the sun, wa al Kamar and the moon, wa anejm and the stars are in the sky. Worksheet number nine. Aina Bilalun, where is Bilal? Bilalun blank el Mesjidi. You have to put in the proper preposition. Aina Hamidun. Hamidun blank. A Dukani Aina Mohammedun. Where is Mohammed? Mohammedun blank El Beiti. Complete the worksheet on your own. On worksheet number ten, we're going to change the name to a pronoun. For example, let's look at the first one together. Aina Bilalun, where is Bilal? Instead of saying Bilalun fil masjidi, we say Hua fil masjidi. Aina Bilalun Hua fi el masjidi. Do the rest of the worksheet in the same way. Worksheet number 11. Hia filbeti. Aina aminatu. Hia filbeti. Aina aminatu. Hia filbeti. So here we have female names. Female names only take one vowel marker at the end. Whereas in the last worksheet, we saw names like Bilalun or Mohammedun with new nation at the end. In this case, all of the names are female names and they all just take one vowel marker. You're going to again change the name into the pronoun. In this case, we use hia for she and then put in the proper preposition in the blank and change the voweling on the word after the preposition to the genitive case so that it takes Kesra. Complete the worksheet on your own. Worksheet page 12. Hua ala al maktabi. Here, instead of talking about people, we're talking about things. Now, it's important to remember that there is no it in the Arabic language. So you have to use either hua or hia. It's going to depend on the gender of the thing that you're talking about. In this case, we have El Kitab, El Miftah, a Dufter, El Qamis. All of the words are masculine. So in this case, when you're changing the sentence, you need to use Hua, Hua for he. It also means it. Complete this worksheet on your own. Worksheet number 13, Hia Ala Asuriri. It is on the bed. Here again, we use hia for it. In the last worksheet, we used hua for it. Just depends on what you're talking about. Here we're talking about asatu or al hakibatu. Both are feminine nouns. So in both cases, we're going to use hia when we refer to it. Complete this worksheet on your own. Worksheet 14, male names and female names. Again, I just want to point out that male names have new nation. Female names just have one vowel marker. So we have Mohammedun, Khalidun, Hamidun, Bilalun, Hashimun, Yasirun, Amarun, 
Abason, Alion, Saidon. But for the females, we have Aminatu, Fatimatu, Aishatu, Zainabu, Mariamu, Khadijatu, Safiatu, Rukayatu, Sumayatu, Saidatu. End of Lesson 4, Part A